Use an eighth inch to five eighths step bit or unibit to drill through the top of the sink. Insert the faucet into the hole stem first. Unscrew the braided line from the stop and then thread on the T. Then secure the braided line to the top of the T. This way the water will continue up to the kitchen faucet with the T going off to the reverse osmosis. Place your quarter inch line into the John Guest fitting on the side and place a shutoff valve on the line going to the RO. To secure the faucet, place the washer, then lock washer, then the locking nut. Once hand tightened, use a crescent wrench to secure the faucet to the sink. Then take a few feet of poly line and place your compression nut a few inches down the line. Next is the compression ring. Last, insert the ferrule into the tip of the poly line. Insert the line into the stem of the faucet. About half an inch to an inch of line should go inside the stem. Then hand tighten the nut to the faucet stem. Then with a crescent wrench, secure the compression nut to the faucet. Once your faucet and your tie-in is complete, you then need to attach the drain to the P-trap underneath the sink. Remove the paper from the adhesive cutout and place on the section of pipe where you wish your line to connect. Using the same unibit, Drill a small hole, only big enough for a quarter inch poly line to go through. Before mounting, make sure the hole is big enough for the line. Next, place the saddle drain on the pipe. Place the receiving end of the saddle on the other side of the pipe. Thread the bolts through. And then hand tighten the nuts to the bolts. Be sure to keep the top part of the saddle drain in line with the styrofoam so that your holes match up. After hand tightening, use a Phillips head bit to secure the saddle drain to the pipe. Then insert the quarter inch poly line only enough to penetrate the pipe. When opening the box, cut from the top and set all items aside. The primary component of a reverse osmosis is the three-stage filtration. You first have the inlet connection, the pressure tank connection, your drain, and the outlet. The filters placed are the pre, the membrane, and the post. The post filter is white and it goes last. The membrane goes in the middle and the pre-filter goes first. When installing the system, remove the first canister, place the pre-filter inside, only grabbing the plastic ends. Touching the actual filter could affect the lifespan of the filter. Next, remove the third canister and place the post filter. By installing the first and third filters only, it allows the system to pressurize so you can check for leaks. Next, take the pressure tank. Thread on the shutoff valve that comes with the system and insert the 3 8 line into the shutoff. Take the other end of the line and insert into the hole on the fixture that says tank. Next, take your horseshoe clips to secure the John Guest fittings. 
The system comes with the in and outs at 3 eighths of an inch, so a reducer is needed. Place the 3 eighths to quarter inch reducer into the system and then cut your poly line to size. Place the faucet line into the out. Your P-trap and saddle drain connection would typically be right here. Take the other end of that line and insert into the drain connection on the system. After connecting your supply to the RO, open the shutoff valve and check for leaks. Turn the water back off. Purge the pressure at the faucet you just installed and then loosen the second canister and remove. Place the membrane cartridge inside the second canister and tighten. Then turn the water back on.